I felt a hand gently rub my hair. I feel still, like I was still in that dream though. Don't worry, Anne. Me and you will stick together. I'll protect you. I felt safe. I felt comforting. Only my closest friend would rub my head. It feels nostalgic, but the hand feels distant. Like I'm floating away. Y y yin? <laughs> I blink my eyes open. Uh, uh, who's that? Oh, thank goodness you're awake. Purple. I. Purple did it! I sat up. Ah, uh, yes. Akihito. He's been arrested. Do not fret. That's a relief. Uh, how long have I been out? About four hours. Four hours? Yes, there's a doctor here. He'll examine you and then you can go home. Your stuff is already there. He got up and came back in the, with a man in a doctor coat. He examined me quickly and re recommended a lot of rest, but he deemed me all right to go home. The car ride was super awkward, <sighs> but I quickly got out and that was the end of it. I got changed in some pajamas and went to bed. It 11 now. A little early, but meh. I guess I can get some shed eye. And here we go again. It's dark. I'm floating. How odd. Another dream so soon? I glance around. I'm on the ground and it's in a, in, in a futon. I feel sweaty and hot. Way too hot. I'm running a fever, I guess. How nice. Hey, hun. We're here to take care of you. I heard a voice coming from close in my blurry vision. Uh-huh. I know how bad you must feel, but you'll be better soon. You should eat. I felt dread. No, oh, so my dread and my stomach. I'm going to puke. I don't want to eat the food. No way. I don't want it. Please, no more. Let me go, you psychopath. You know, Yin. Remember that day where you got drugged at that gala? I left you some food on the, your counter that day. You didn't notice and you never ate the thing I made with so much love. It was the strawberry cake. Oh, of course. It was completely homemade, Yin. You should eat, my lovely Yin. Another voice came. Aw, love. Stop being so stubborn. We just want you to enjoy your surprise. Screw your surprise. They fed me some soup they had. I didn't want to eat, but I was forced to choke. Almost immediately, I felt more sluggish. I woke up drenched in sweat. Oh, for fuck's sakes. 4 a.m. again? Just why in the hell are these damn dreams like visions popping up? I can't even confirm if they're important or not. Wait. Wait a minute. I can confirm if that dream was real a, or really a vision or not. I threw the covers off my body. I ran into the, my kitchen. Please. Please let there be no cake. I entered my kitchen. I felt my legs turn into jelly. A box. There was a goddamn box of cake on the counter. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. There's no way. I collapsed on the floor and I started to cry. This was ridiculous. It's impossible. It doesn't make any sense. I stayed on the ground trying to collect myself. Everything is fine. There are most and probably visions of the future, so you can avoid them. That's all right. Everything will turn out fine. I miss my original world. So much simpler and so less crazy. I breathe in and breathe it out to calm myself. I think I threw out a, analyze those dreams are far overdue. 
first room was locked up in a cell. The door was full of full metal with a giant number lock. Okay. It also smelled like roses. I was scared of whoever came in the door. There was a lot of blood on a chain. Oh, so the cell, the bed, nightshade, lamp, even the blood-stained chair looked expensive. Especially the bed. It was silk sheets. By how soft they were. Not everyone can afford stuff like that. It's a rich person. It's all assuming this could come out true. Or it's like a vision of some sort. I don't fucking know, but I know I shouldn't ignore these anymore. I don't know. Never. I don't ever want to be hurt again. I must be careful. One. Okay. Avoid rich people. Second dream. Um... The head and fingers. I was in a basement full of cardboard boxes. So, okay, one, never go into a damn basement. That, that, makes, that makes that a rule. Okay, so who would call me Silly Goose? I think I'm probably friends with them. They could have called me anything else if I disobeyed. Like an insult, or at least a little angry. But no, it's alright. It sounded like they were laughing. So, okay, cheery psycho, nice, great. Two, careful, um, close, cheery friends. Three, no basements, nah, no way. Third dream, someone breaking my on my house and strangling me. The person killed someone and tried to suffocate me. A crazy in love with a fucking psycho si suicidal person. Fucking great, fantastic, four. Seal my windows. Um, I always thought they were a little hard, but I, like I bump into them constantly with my shit as a stubborn fucker. Okay, so even thicker windows. They called me dear and my love. Fourth dream. I seemed to have been drugged by someone I was close to. The way I said that I couldn't believe what they were doing. Do this, oh, why they do this to me? I think it it was a teacup. Can't tell whose apartment it is or any very distinct details. I then, in my panic, threw myself out of a window. I walked like a drunk and bumped into Arsuri. She promised to protect me. I feel like I can believe her. Five. No drinking tea. Six. Trust Arcia. Arcia? Yeah. Okay. We have a pretty good list. I sighed, knowing I wouldn't be able to sleep. I wonder what the person meant by, with completely homemade, but I don't feel like finding out. I took the cake and put it in the trash, went to my living room, and started to think. Just who in the hell are in these visions, and why in the world are they so obvious to me? Hello, so I want to play a fun game with you guys and this. If you can guess all of them, I'll, well, hmm, I'll have your purse, I'll give you a personal look, technically, well, personal chapter. But anyways, if you can't tell, there was definitely music in this. I've been trying to add music to make it more, I don't know, nice, neat. Um, what else? Oh, by the way, um, if you want dating games, dating games, um, ch uh, Sonomi and Genya's en ending is almost, well, should be almost complete. And it should be coming probably, hopefully soon. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye, lovelies.